Thank you for tuning in to TTV. I'm your host, Toya, and today is Communion Sunday. And so today I'm going to show you guys how to make a quick um, body butter. Um, there's a longer process, and there's one that has a lot of different steps and takes a lot of time. This is one I'm going to just show you guys that I used to use when I first started making it for myself before I started following the tips and stuff that everybody has on YouTube. Um, but this one is nice and simple. I'm going to show you what you can add to it as far as like your oils and essential oils and all that kind of stuff. Um, but like I said, it's really, really easy, really, really simple, and I'm going to get started. So this is my shea butter. Now, when it comes to shea butter, you'll have two. This is the unrefined organic shea butter, okay? It's in a big old brick, okay? Um... But this is a big old, this is what, 10 pounds I bought? 5 pounds that I have bought. Um, but that's what it comes in. The yellow shea butter has palm oil in it, which is what makes it the yellow. The white shea butter just has no oil in it. Um, I do find that the white one is better during the summertime when you don't need as much oil. It does help to, it absorbs quicker and it, it um, helps the, the earth to penetrate quicker. To whereas the one with the palm oil, this yellow one is really good in the winter time because our skin gets so dry, we need that extra oil. Um, but either one can be used during the day. Now, one of the things you may not know about shea butter is it's an actually a natural SPF. And that's because of the fat that's contained in the shea butter. Because it's such a fatty um, substance, it actually protects the skin from the sun. So it acts as a natural um, SPF. It also helps to hydrate and nourish and all that good stuff to the actual skin. So it's really, really, really good for your skin. And so that's why a lot of people use it. You can use it in your hair as well. You can use it as a lip balm. Like you can use it for almost anything, okay? Um, as far as the body go. And I just recently found out you can actually cook with it. But they say not to because it's very high in saturated fat, but in any case, like I said, you can even consume it. Um, but look it up before you do that because that was just something I saw in passing as a glance. So the first thing I'm going to do, now if you were doing this the way following everybody's steps, then you would have to melt this down. The way I'm going to do it, like I said, is quick, it's easy, it don't take a whole lot. You don't have to melt this down. You just need to soften it. Um, so even though I don't like using a microwave for things, I'm going to do it for y'all. Um, but you only need to put it in here for about 10 seconds. So why that's in there? Because you just need it to soften. You don't even need it to melt. You just need it to soften. One of the things you will need is a mixer. Okay? That's going to make your life a lot easier. This is one that I just got from um, the thrift store. From the, not thrift store. Salvation Army. Um, was it the Salvation Army? One of them thrift stores. I got it from a thrift store. So it only cost me like eight bucks six bucks something like that um and i use it strictly just for making products now some of the things that you can put in there um doesn't have to be anything fancy this is just some olive oil so i can add some olive oil to it i can add some avocado oil we can do hoba almond vitamin e black seed uh, that's more almond tea tree oil argan oil extracts um essential oils because these are some Young Living Essential Oils. So any of this stuff can be used. And like I said, you're really just trying to get it softened, okay? Let me come closer. So right now, as this, it's still kind of hard, but it's starting to soften, okay? To make it easier for when you go to blend it, okay? So again, we're not trying to melt it, just soften it. And make sure you wash your hands too. And that your hands are dry. So I'm put that back in there. It can be very messy. Let me get a napkin. It can be very messy if you're touching it a lot and handling it a lot. But it's so worth it because it nourishes your skin so well. I don't know if y'all saw some of them videos I did when I was up in Monroe. <laughs> but my skin was so dry. I was looking back on editing those videos like, oh my God, my skin is so dry on here. Um, and that was because I forgot my shea butter. Okay, so as you can see now, it's kind of soft. That's all we need it to be is just soft. And I'm going to show you because now that it's soft, I can easily put this in here, okay? See? 
how you want it, okay? You want it to be soft like that. Now, this is some aloe I have that I grow right here in front of my um, my window seal. So I'm gonna put some of this in here. If you don't have any, don't worry about it. Use what you have, okay? So I'm just cutting the sides out. I'm not gonna use this whole piece because it's not that much shea butter. Okay, but you saw I just cut the sides off and now I'm just kind of scraping the skin off, okay? And then once you scrape the top layer of the skin, that's when you have the inside. And then that part can just be scraped right into it, okay? Just as simple as that. And aloe is actually wonderful for your skin as well. It actually has healing properties too. It helps with um, allergy or allergy re um, reactions. And you can actually put this part in your hair, like you can rub it in your hair or on your face um, to help in your skin. I'm going to just rub it in because that's what y'all going to see me doing from now on is just rubbing everything in. Okay, so avocado oil. And all these oils are very good for your skin. You can look up the properties. I'm putting maybe a tablespoon of it in there. Same thing with the um, olive oil. About a tablespoon. Again, you can put whatever you want. Um, I'm going to do with some vitamin E. These are little capsules. See? Whoop. Okay, well, maybe not that capsule. <laughs> some little capsules. Um, and I'm just going to nick it. And then squeeze that out in there. Okay? And we put that to the side. Um, and I think I'm going to use... These are Young Living um, extracts. I mean, not extracts. Essential oils. Um, so I'm going to use the Stress Away because they have so many different ones. But this one helps with stress. Reducing stress. Um, but I'm going to put that in last. I'm going to use a little bit of jojoba oil because I don't have a lot left anyway. And you can use black seed oil, sweet almond oil, argan oil. Argan oil has some um, antibiotic properties to it, so we're going to put that in there. And some antifungal, antimicrobe tea tree oil. All right. And then we're just going to blend this up. what it's looking like. It's looking like cake batter, okay? We just don't blend it. All right. Now, one of the things that I've learned, let me grab it too, that with the shea butter, with it being really greasy like it is, um, there's actually an ingredient you can add to it to help it absorb quicker. I'm just getting it out for you guys so I can show y'all so that it's not so greasy and it absorbs better into your skin. And that is arrowroot, okay? So I have some arrowroot. Um, I didn't pull it out because I was actually debating if I was going to put it in here, but I think I will um, just because it makes it, like I said, a little less greasy. So I'm going to just put like a spoon and if you don't have it, don't worry about it. But this is just the easy version on how to um, do a whipped butter. Okay, and y'all see I haven't added any of this out. This is all just one. So the time it's taking me to do it is the time of this video, okay? And this is a quick and easy, simple way to do it. It's not going to be as soft and fluffy as it was if you actually do the process with all the steps that they have where you melt this down completely. And then you add your stuff to it. And then you got to put it in the freezer for an hour or two till it solidifies some. And then you blend all it up. And then you will put the arrowroot powder in it. And then you will put the essential oil in it. Like, that's a lot of steps. This is a quicker way to where you just soften the shea butter Put the stuff in it that you want to put in it. Once you got it all blended up and combined. 
Then you put it in your container and you done. So this is pretty much done. And you see what it looked like? And again, it's not going to be as soft as the whip stuff that you're used to. It's going to be a little thicker, but guess what? It lasts longer, okay? So I'm going to use some of the stress away. Um, it's just essential oils to help decrease the stress. Um, you can also, I had a friend who used to use perfume. She would take whatever perfume she wanted and she would mix into the shea butter. Like when I would do this for her, you know, like this and sell some to her, she would just mix her perfume up in it and that's how she would use it. All right. Now, I know I bought a separate whipper or what they call a hand mixer. I just called it a whipper, y'all. <laughs> that's funny. Um, you don't have to. I just do it because I was making so much um, that I just wanted to use the same stuff for it. All right, so if you use your normal kit, everyday kitchen stuff, you're going to be okay because any of this, if you ingest it, it's not going to kill you. Like tea tree oil, you can do it in small amounts, very, very, very small amounts, but you can still ingest it. Argon oil, almond oil, all this stuff. Black sea oil, like you can ingest it. So it's not um, that it's horrible for you or something that you just have to stay away from. Okay, so even if there was some remnants after you put it in your dishwasher or after you wash it yourself, you'll be fine. Okay, um, and I don't have a spatula over here. So I'm getting a spatula and I'm just going to put this off into a container. Y'all, I ain't got no spatula. What's up with that? So I just have this little container. This is one that I use with the products and stuff that I sell. You know, you sanitize it and then you just put it in there. And if you can see how nice and, you see that? Do it again. You see how soft it is? It will harden up some as it sets. But this is, like I said, a quick and easy way that you can make you some shea butter. Some whipped shea butter and you don't have to go through all those 50 million steps that they normally have you do. And I am doing this very messy. If you want to do it in less mess, <laughs> you get you a sandwich bag. You put this in a sandwich bag and cut the whole lot of it. And then um, one of the corners out of it. And then you can um, use it to pipe in here. Now this is the one I'm going to be using nobody else. That's why I don't really care about touching it. Otherwise I would have gloves on. But that's it. And then as you can see, just rub it in. See how smooth it goes on? And then like I said, the um, arrowroot powder helps it be a little less greasy and it absorbs quicker, okay? But that's it. That's how you can make a nice, quick and easy um, your own shea body butter. Just go get you a small thing of shea butter if you want to put something else in it Because I could have got a little fancy and got some mango butter and cocoa, cocoa butter in here as well But same thing you just those are hard um, Hard and firm you just put it in a microwave or put it in a double boiler just till it softens up Throw what you're gonna put in there like your oils in there Throw that in there blend it up to this whip add you some arrowroot just to help with the um See how it's already starting to soak in and my hands aren't as greasy yeah so put you some arrowroot powder in there get your essential oil call it a day and even if you didn't want to use the essential oil or some of the other rest of the stuff you can just use the whip the whip shea butter just like that just like i said soften it up whip it up and you're done good to go just like that um, but it's very simple, very easy. I hope I put some ease into you as far as trying to do this your own self because, like I said, it's so simple. You saw how long it took, and it's good to go. This video is really only as long as it is because I'm running my mouth, and I ain't have a couple of things that I should have grabbed before I did this video. But other than that, it don't take that long. So that's it for today. I love you guys. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share because if you got something out of it, chances are someone else will as well. I love you guys and I'll talk to you tomorrow.